In this video, we will uh, use the multi-perspective camera um, uh, using paths and then uh, extract uh, the volume that we see in the using that multi-perspective camera uh, using re-slicing in, in paths. So this, this is an isopod uh, data set from, from Erika. Let's put a clipping plane here. And uh, let's slice up this data. And uh, okay, so here we have we can see the insides of the isopod. And what we can do is we can extract this interior um, feature of uh, of this data, and then we can straighten it out uh, using path. So let's let's use the path. Let me just add, so let me put some points here. I'll remove those points that are inside. I would like to have the points in, in a plane, so this point here. another point here and then another point here let's put a path and let me add another point here move it up add a smoothness to the path so this is our path and let's give radius say 100 so So green and red axis both are now 100 and let us turn on the viewport. So this will turn on the multi-perspective camera and transform set 1. So I'll take this transform editor out. move this up a bit and then rotate using alt and the right mouse button to get proper orientation so here we have got let me just tweak the transfer function so that that's what we want and just move the this picture out a bit and move it a bit down you can also increase this size so we can also now capture the carapace I'm moving this out a bit here and a bit here. So we have got a straightened version. We might we might need a few tweaks here and there. A bit more. Okay, so we have got repeated to get what we want uh, we can also move it inside like this so as you can see this is moving inside I'm capturing that as well and you can also move a bit out okay so let's now save this um, using re-slice so spacebar and now we'll get path parameters because my cursor was in the viewport if my cursor was here then I would get the command help normal so press spacebar path parameters and then re-slice so let me also show you the help here 
So re slice parameters are very similar to the one that you get for the clipping plane as well as the for the whole volume. So re slice, okay, and then uh, say part one. You want value, yes, or opacity. Done. So let's fire up another um, instance of, of Rishti and let's load the part one that we just loaded. So this is the, as you can see, let me just tweak this transfer function here so that you can see what uh, we have saved so like uh, the clipping plane we also can use reslice to save the the data or the volume or the part of the volume that we see in the viewport for the clipping plane now this you can use to straighten say anatomical data medical data or even for example the rock data set for example you are doing say um, uh, you want to see the data from all the sides at the same time you can put a path around your um, around your uh, around your data say rock or whatever and then you can straighten it out now this is reslice let's see what happens when we do reslice full so we'll give reslice full so reslice full is very similar to reslice except that now you'll get twice the depth so here twice the depth is basically twice the green axis so twice the length of green axis so when we do reslice the data will be saved uh, in the depth uh, axis from the center of the center of the spine to the end of this green axis now when we give reslice full then the data is saved from this point here um, reflected on the other side of the spine so from here to here so it's basically twice the length of the green axis so let's do reslice full and then let's do part two again same as value okay and let us fire another instance of the HT and load part two here So this is part two and let us tweak the transfer function to show what we have saved. So this is what we have saved here. Now if we put a clipping plane then you will see that this is this is basically part one here so half of this volume is part one and then when we did re uh, reslice full that basically added the remaining part so the the idea behind implementing that is sometimes you would put uh, the path at the center of the feature that you want and then you would like to save both the sides of uh, of the path spine then you would use uh, the uh, reslice full option so this is now straightened path here or straightened uh, data set so we have straightened the the interior or the, the stomach of this isopod
So this is the cross section of that. So this is how you can also use uh, <coughs> reslicing uh, using paths. So uh, basically saving the the multi-perspective uh, camera view of your data uh, as a volume.